What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Game of Tech review. My name is Shu, and in this review, we're going to be taking a look at a multimedia controller which you can use with editing software. It's made by a company called Contour and it's called the Shuttle Pro V2. Here it is, this thing is loaded with features, so let's learn a bit about them and take a look at the packaging. On the front of the packaging, we can see a really big picture of the unit itself, which is actually pretty much life-size. It does say it's a multimedia controller, specifically for editing audio, video, photos, music and more. The sides of the packaging repeat the information that's on the front of the unit, also the picture. And on the back it goes into a lot more detail of what programs it's specifically made for, what are the features of the buttons, what's the functionality of it, and also just a few bits of information about where the company's based and also their Facebook details. Now that's the packaging out of the way, let's just crack the unit out and have a closer look at it. This is the front of the Shuttle Pro V2. Uh, if I just have a quick look on the back, you can see it is very simple on there. You haven't got any extra buttons, nothing like that, but you do have six rubber feet which help grip it to the table or surface which you will be working on. So looking back on the front here you can see it has got a variety of different buttons. First of all let's have a look at these nine buttons up here. Now these are quite cleverly designed just because all of these plastic tops they can clip off and in the box there are paper uh, inserts which, can, which you can use to put inside these buttons so you know what they are once you've assigned them to a certain key which look like this. So you've got play, pause, record, create, edit, like pretty much every single command you can think of and then if it hasn't got it you have got a whole list of blanks as well. So say you use this this one and then you swap out that button there to something else you can just remove it swap it with a blank and then if you want to use it at a later time you can just put a blank in and then just write on it as well so that is a very handy feature because it means that if you forget what button goes to what then you've got that reminder there also if you're say setting them to one program and then you know what all the presets are or, or what you've set them to you remember them off by heart and you start using it in another program you can then put this one in there from the other program and then you can look to remember or you can feel it for the other program so it's quite handy having that set up there so you've got nine of these click buttons just at the top here. It's also quite nice because you have got these little uh, dimples on the plastic so you know whereabouts your fingers are, much like the same on a keyboard with the F key and the J key. Then at the bottom you've got four similar buttons which are silver. Um, they click the same but you get, you're not able to put inserts in these ones. Then you've got two black ones, one each each side. Again they click exactly the same as the silvers and the top ones but no inserts. And on the centre wheel you have uh, the centre wheel here with three dimples and you can move that. It's a clicking wheel, it's not a free spinning rotating one. It does click like one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. So you can click forward if you want to, or click backwards. And then you have got your jog wheel in the middle here. So that spins roughly about 40 degrees on there. So you can jog it forward or backwards. And it has got a spring in there, so it does spring back to that center position. So you can jog your footage. And that is really the full layout of the device here. It does seem really, really simple, but it does get the job done, which is one thing that I really like about it. So when I started to test this item, I literally had no idea what to expect because I've never used anything like this before. With all my previous editing, I've always used standard keyboard and mouse layout. And um, even though this doesn't replace the mouse um, as well when you're editing, it's literally just like the keyboard it replaces. I was actually really quite surprised at how well it did that job. Just because um, even though on a keyboard, you're using all shortcuts anyway, so you know that C brings up the cut tool, V brings up like the, the pointer tool, B does blah blah blah. So you've got all of these extra like shortcuts which you use on the keyboard anyway. But what this does is it localizes all of them to your like your, your direct hand area. Um, also when I'm editing I'll usually slip a key, so instead of pressing V I'll press B and then because I've got the different tool come up it doesn't give me the right thing. Like I can still use it to do things but it's not the right tool so then when I want to use the, the tool I was aiming for, it's not there and then it takes up time and it may seem like only a few seconds at that point but over the period of an edit all those few seconds add up into a long amount of time and also frustration as well because if you keep doing the same thing and messing up then it does get a bit annoying after a while. However, with this thing it really helps to eliminate that problem just because you've got those nine buttons at the top and those are really 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 handy just because you can sit your top four fingers on those four buttons there and they can just sit on there and then you've got like I use it as that's cut that's move um, and then you can have like jog, uh, play and then pause stop you know whatever you want so I can just sit there with this hand just immobile on that on the device and just move my mouse around do everything press the button press the button press the button and it's just ah oh, it just it was really it was, it was quite a nice time saver um, also the jog wheels I found quite handy as well because instead of having to um, uh, bring my mouse over and then click a point on the timeline and drag the 
bar thing, I can't even know what the name of the bar thing and the editing software is, bring that bar across, I can literally just use the jogger and just rip, spin that around and get that to the right place and then and then go from there and I don't have to worry about the keyboard, like I was using these buttons down here for play pause as well for my space bar, so I could just jog it, press play, okay that's the right point, okay we're cutting tool and it was, ah, oh, it was really handy, it was um, the worst thing I'd say, like the only downside to using this kind of device is the amount of time it takes to get used to it, um, because you have to have you know, you've got muscle memory from using the keyboard and jumping around and using the keys on there. Uh, when you're using this device, because everything is localised, you don't have to move around anymore, it feels really odd, as if you're not working hard enough, or something like along those lines. It's really hard to explain, it's really weird, but it's that, that kind of feeling that you get from using it at the start. But after a while, um, you just get used to it and all of that kind of goes away and you get used to it and yeah. And then you're just like, oh wow, I'm editing really quick and it's nice because it's different and I don't, yeah, it just saves time. So yeah, it's a very handy device. Um, I was very, very pleased with it, um, especially because like I said before, I had no idea what it was gonna be like and, and how it was gonna handle. So very, very pleased with it, very happy with it. I hope this has been very informative for you and that you've learned a bit about the Contour Shuttle V2 Pro editing multimedia device uh, is really, really quite cool. And if you are a very keen editor, if you do edit a lot of stuff, I definitely, definitely check it out and have a little look at it and see. You know, it is definitely a potential purchase for you because it will help make your editing days a lot easier, more smoother, and hopefully quicker as well as they did for mine, as you can, as you can tell from what I'm telling you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've learned a bit. Um, if you like the video, please do hit like and maybe share it as well. You know, check it out. Uh, as for now, that is the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I think I've already said that, but anyway. Thank you again. Stay fresh, guys.